Joining us tonight, one of the social justice murals on 800 South and 300 West appears to have been vandalized overnight. It's the mural for Chad Breinholt, who was shot and killed by police in August of 2019. News specialist Garna Mejia joins us live from the area. Garna, any idea who did it? Yeah, good evening, Debbie. And no, we don't have any ideas yet. What we do know, a neighbor tells us, is that they noticed the mural was defaced early this morning, but no reports have been filed with police. Tonight, as you guys can see, it's been restored, but Chad Reinhold's family continues waiting for answers from the district attorney. Those murals have just become a place for these families to go to. For Chad Breinholtz's family, the mural painted in his memory is a place to pay their respects. Just remember that these spaces were humans and they have stories. But overnight, Chad's mural appears to have been vandalized. It's not the first time something like this happens at the murals on 800 South and 300 West. Chad's eyes were blacked out, blackened out as well as his name. And again, it, it was the only mural. Chad's family was just here last night. They aren't sure if this was a targeted incident. It's probably more targeted. It doesn't look like somebody just went and was just trying to make a statement. Chad was fatally shot by West Valley City police officers while in the department's basement processing center in August of 2019. His family is still waiting for the findings of the investigation by the Salt Lake County District Attorney's Office. We're just trying to be patient and and just hope that they do a thorough investigation. In response, the district attorney's office tells us their work is ongoing. Quote, every time there is a loss of life in the community is a tragedy. Investigations don't have a time limit as they require thorough review in finding the truth. But findings will be shared with family and the community as soon as they're available. Uh, it's my understanding they were going to meet with me um, a year ago, and uh, that that meeting didn't take place. Um, so now we here we are another year later, and we're we're still waiting. Yet Chad's family says they remain hopeful in finding answers. Meantime, his mural has been restored, just in time to warm a mother's heart. Very heartbreaking for me to see that, and the fact that they were so quick to fix it before Mother's Day. I just want to thank those wonderful anonymous artists. Now, the DA's office tells us that they've had about 45 officer-involved shootings in just the last three years. There were uh, 21 in 2018, 7 in 2019, and 17 last year.